Let's talk in this video about how to set up a DWM status bar. Um, you may have read the manual for DWM. You should probably know the basics, but I want to talk about how I configure in mine and how I, I usually do it, how I have it update, how I have it uh, refresh whenever something's changed. Uh, I might not have the best setup, but it definitely works for me. Um, so up here, right above my head right here, you'll see that I have my status bar. It has my weather. Uh, it has precipitation chance, daily low, daily high. Um, it has my volume level. It has this little icon that tells me if I'm connected to the internet. Uh, has my unread mail, battery, date, time, all that kind of stuff. Um, now, if you know the first thing about DWM, you should probably know that in order to set the status bar, you really just use X set root and name, and you can basically set it to any kind of any text, whatever you want. So we can say whatever text. Okay, so that's going to change my status bar to that. Now, X set root, in case you don't know, it's not like a DWM specific command. It's a more general command. Notice, actually, my status bar changed back. I'll explain why that happened in a second. Um, but in general, when you use this command, it, you can basically put anything. And it isn't just text, mind you. You can put the output of a command. So I can say echo my browser or something like that. And that's going to give you the name of my browser, which is just surf in tabbed. Um, okay, so how do I actually, how did I create this uh, bar that I have how, and how does it function? Now, what you're going to want to do in DWM is basically create, there are different ways of doing it. And I, again, I might not have the be best, but what I have is a separate script called DWM bar. And I have this script start every time I start a graphical environment. Now you can patch DWM to do something like auto start some scripts for you. I think that's totally silly because... Um, you know, you can just put it in your xinit file. You know, I mean, if you don't know anything about Linux or Unix or whatever, xinit is the, uh, uh, or, well, I guess it's just Linux because it's xorg or whatever. Um, but xinit is the file that runs when you start x. Um, or if you log in in a desktop environment, you will have x profile. Anyway, I have just this script, my bar script start when I start the graphical environment. And therefore this, so what does the script actually do? That's the important thing. Now the, the important aspect of it, once I type it out, um, is it's actually a while loop and the while loop is gonna continually run. And what it does is it, it uh, sets the status bar equal to the output of this function that I defined status. And I'll talk about that in a second. And basically the output of that is gonna be everything you see right above me. It's gonna be the weather, it's gonna be the volume, it's gonna be all that kind of stuff. You just have different commands to do that. Um, I also test to see if the weather is, is um, recent. That's an, I'll talk about that in a second. And then I have it sleep for one minute, okay? Um, so that basically means uh, it'll update the bar and then it'll wait another minute before it tries to update it again because if you don't if you don't have it sleep It's gonna be constantly updating the bar every possible second and your computer is just gonna you know You'll be using all cores to run your status bar now um, If you might some questions I get is oh my god This isn't gonna work because that means it takes a whole minute for your status bar to update So if you change the volume, you're gonna have to wait a minute before it you actually see the changes well you, as you can see right now, it's working for me if I go up and down. And the reason that I have that, if you want, if you want to be able to update your status bar whenever it actually changes, you do something like this. I have a little script. I have it uh, called ref bar, and basically all it is is I have this script run. Let's say I, in the specific case of my volume commands, when I press my vol, you know, my keyboard shortcut to change my volume, um, I actually have that run two things it runs the command that actually changes the volume, and it also runs this script. And what this script does is it looks for the instance, this is actually really clumsily written, there's probably a more elegant way of doing it, but what it basically does is it looks for the instance of sleep running within the DWM bar script, and if it exists, it will kill it. So that means whenever I, so I have assigned again, um, you know, all of these, uh, all my volume change commands to run, and after that, run refresh bar. So every time that I press one of those, you will see that the refresh bar command runs and the volume is updated, okay? And that's the same thing for anything else. Let's say I, I run my mail sync command and I want my bar to be refreshed afterwards. Well, I can just run that after, you know, have that in the script that refresh, you know, syncs my mail. Okay, so that's how that works. So let's actually talk about the, the modules in this 
bar. And of course, this is the customizable part that you can do pretty much whatever you want. Um, so first off, as decoration, um, I have the pipe. You know, you'll see there's a little line between each of the modules. And I actually set, set this as a variable. So if I change this, let's say I change it to the and sign or something like that, you'll see that everything is now changed to and or something like that. Oh, and notice also, I mean, just because you know, I guess I might as well notice whenever I change this file in Vim, I have Vim automatically kill it and refresh it. So I get the updates, but uh, that's just the detail. Um, so anyway, le let me talk about the status bar command and you'll see I have a couple different th things. For example, um, I, you don't see it now, but I actually do have a music module. And if it isn't active, you know, basically you just take the output of MPC and you format it in the way you want to show, you know, artist and title of your song or whatever. Um, and it outputs there as well. Uh, but I don't have that right now. I'm going to skip the, the weather command. The weather command is actually, um, for those who don't know, I don't know, I think this is sort of basic knowledge, but I know, I'm sure there are some people who don't know. There's this site called WTTR.in, and you can just see URL at any time, and it's going to give you uh, basically your weather forecast for your area. Um, so that that's pretty nice. Um, but basically, what I do for this weather command is I have this download whenever you know every day or whatever. It checks to see if I have a weather report for today, and if I don't, it will download this weather report, and it, then it looks for today's date. And it gets the like uh, the highest number, you know, for our daily high, and the lowest number for the daily low, and uh, you know the highest precipitation chance. That's what that actually does. And you'll see that uh, you know it actually is the same. It's a bunch of setting and awking. That's what all this is. I'm not going to explain it all, but you know that that's what it does. Um, anyway, so uh, everything else here, mind you, is just output and commands. So for example, uh, I have a mixer uh, just to get the volume command here. Um, you, I have, uh, you know, you can test your wireless connection or your Ethernet's uh, upper state uh, from the command line, and I really just have these output. I, you know, I replace stuff. For example, um, if you'll see here, so let, let me take the example of the Ethernet. Okay, so if I do this at any point in time, sys class net, um, my Ethernet name and I cat that out, it's gonna tell me if my ethernet is all up or down. Okay, so it's up right now. So basically I just have a sed command. If it's down, I just delete it. I just don't have anything appear there. Uh, if it's up, it replaces that with a little globe. And again, that just signalize, signalizes, signifies that I'm connected to the internet, right? Um, so that's the kind of stuff. And you'll notice that I'll usually just have the delimiter character printed between these modules just so that it appears there. Um, Let's see, Mutt Wizard. So yeah, again, if you have Mutt Wizard, you, I actually have a status bar that automatically is compatible with that. It checks to see how many unread mail uh, you have in that in, in your specific mail location. And it outputs them there, again, putting a little fawn awesome character for a mail thing in front of them. Uh, same thing with battery. And uh, I actually do have multiple batteries sometimes. I sometimes have my laptop plugged up to another battery as well. Um, so I did find a pretty elegant way just to get all your battery statuses at once. So it just loops through, so this little, you know, case statement, well, really a for loop, loops through all your existing plugged up batteries. And for each one, it will output a battery symbol, to, you know, which is going to be either like really full or really not full, depending on what kind of capacity you have left. Um, so that's what that does. And finally, the date and time, which of course you can change here. Um, so the thing to keep in mind is all of this, all of the stuff that appears here, this again is just one function that I just have run. And I set x set root to the output of that function. The only other thing worth noting, I'm not entirely sure why this is. You, someone might be able to, I don't know, inform me about this. But I noticed that if you have like new lines, like if I just echo all of this stuff out uh, on multiple lines, if I have the function output to multiple lines, you can set your status bar as that. But it, for whatever reason, it's just really laggy. I, d I don't really know, like when you pull up a window, it's gonna be really laggy. So the thing you wanna do is either A, instead of using echo, use like print F and don't have any new lines in here. But I think a more elegant way of doing it is when you actually output your status, just uh, translate all of your new lines into spaces or something like that, or just delete them depending on uh, your setup. So that's one thing that I think might be actually better to do. Um, 
But I, again, I'm not quite sure why that happens, but I'll, I'll just say if you don't do that, DWM is super laggy. I don't, I, someone can tell me why that, that goes on, but I'll, I'm just saying that that's, that's what happens. Uh, but anyway, that, that's about it. So again, it's relatively simple. Again, so have this start, just have some kind of script like this start with your uh, graphical environment, either in your X pro profile or X init, have it loop through constantly updating. And again, I do recommend having a refresh bar command uh, just so you can, con you know, if you have some kind of change going on, you can easily refresh the bar if you have time sensitive changes like volume or something like that. Uh, but anyway, so that's about it. Hopefully you'll learn something and I will see you guys next time.